Hal Scott is our next guest. He's the president of the Committee on Capital Markets Regulation. He joins us now live from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, sir, listening into the testimony that you've heard thus far, uh, the question or, or the bottom line seems to be moving uh, the over-the-counter derivatives markets onto an exchange to a large degree. What's the unintended consequence of doing this? Well, I think the major focus I was hearing, Margaret, had to deal with the uh, moving it into a clearinghouse. Right. I think then there's an issue after that as to whether it should be on exchange. But focusing on the clearinghouse, um, you know, I think the problem generally with the administration's financial reform approach is that a lot of serious issues get raised about how this is actually going to work. What exceptions should there be? What is the rationale? And you often hear from Geithner, yes, the devil's in the details, and we're going to have to adjust that, et cetera. You don't often hear a lot of factual information about what the nature of the real problem is and specific proposals about how to change it. I think they need to move to a second you know, order here where they reform their own reforms. <laughs> well, when you were talking about uh, the specifics being um, sort of left out of the testimony, Treasury Secretary Geithner did say, and this is notable considering the committee he's testifying before, that there's a good chance here that there will be limited exceptions uh, when you're talking about moving uh, derivatives to a clearinghouse for non-financial companies, for end users. Uh, presumably he's talking about uh, corporations related to the agricultural world there. Right. Well, I think the issue there, and a number of the uh, uh, senators raised the issue, is, well, if, the, if there are these exceptions, how are you going to deal with them? Right. You know, and, and Geithner says, oh, we're going to have margins and capital. Well, how much capital and how much margin? And who's going to be entitled to the exception? You know, these are, you know, this is beyond devil in the details. These are fundamental questions of who's, you know, doing central clearing and who isn't, and how are the people that are not covered going to be treated? Mm -hmm. uh, well, moving into a clearinghouse, ultimately onto an exchange, uh, there are concerns, as you can imagine, uh, from Terry Duffy. He's head of the CME. He's going to be testifying later today. He's already issued a statement saying uh, that basically he's concerned about money, these trades just going outside the U.S., that will ultimately cost U.S. business. How much truth is there to that? Well, I think if we adopt a system that doesn't make sense for the dealers who are the major participants, uh, there's going to be a risk of that. But, you know, I think you have to understand that there would have to be a lot of problems before that would occur because currently we have major exchanges in the United States. So, you know, that would have to be, I think, replicated abroad, which wouldn't be so easy. I think also our legal structure is extremely important to making these markets function, and I think there's much less legal certainty around this process uh, in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, Treasury Secretary Geithner, in his prepared testimony, um, which he delivered earlier, we've been listening into the question and answer period, said the CFTC and the SEC should be the ones to have the authority to impose reporting requirements on all derivatives. Are those the uh, effective bodies? I mean, aren't we already talking about downfalls in, in regulatory oversight by those two commissions? Well, uh, you know, we're back to the structural issue here. Right. Like, who, who's going to do this, right? And um, I think where that stands is on a high level of uncertainty because, um, you know, there's a Fed. They have a role in this because uh, these arrangements are being devised to avoid systemic risk. And if the administration's committed to the Fed having the leading role in systemic risk regulation, which they are, then it seems to me that the Fed should have the major role here, not the uh, CFTC and the SEC. Mm -hmm. uh, Geithner also saying, quote unquote, we should use capital and margin requirements and other measures to provide market participants with incentives to make uh, centrally cleared derivatives and produce migration of derivatives into those central clearing houses. How do you do that? It's basically providing, it sounds like, financial incentive to comply with this regulation? Uh, make sense of that for me. I'm not sure what he really means because, I mean, look, the problem is not to give incentives to go to central clearing. The, the problem we're trying to okay. address is that the dealers are adequately protected against risk, okay? And if so we don't have things that are centrally cleared, we want to make sure the dealers are protected. So to me, the issue is 
How do we devise margin requirements and capital to make sure the dealers are protected, not to give them incentives to go to central clearing? Okay. All right. Uh, well, thank you uh, very much, Hal Scott.